Hello, and welcome to Zimble. When you first sign into your account, you'll find the main navigation bar on the left side of the screen. During this demo, we're going to be reviewing the dashboard page and the schedule page. The first tab is the dashboard page, which is an overview of your account. From the dashboard page, you can clock in, clock out, view any shifts you have scheduled for today, see who else is currently clocked in, view any notifications, announcements, or requests, among other things, depending on the user role you're currently assigned. The next tab on the navigation bar is the schedule page. Zimbal's clear layout of our employee schedule maker makes creating shifts a breeze. Let me show you how. To create a shift, you'll first want to find the correct employee row, then find the day that you'd like to initiate the create a shift process. Click the plus icon. You can change the start time, the end time, assign a specific color to the shift, select the position, the department, and add a shift label if necessary. Once you're finished, you can save the shift, which will be indicated by a striped pattern, or you can publish the shift, which will be indicated by a solid color. To edit a shift, simply hover over the shift and click the edit button. You can delete a shift or move it to the open shift row. You can click and drag shifts, as well as copy and paste, or you can cut the shift and move it somewhere else. Keep in mind that when a shift is published, a notification will be sent to the user if they have the notification enabled. You can also edit shifts in advanced mode. When editing a shift, click the Advanced Options button. If you only want to edit shifts in Advanced Mode, enable the Always Open in Advanced Mode option. When editing in Advanced Mode, you have a few different options here. You can repeat shifts, daily and weekly. You can add a break to the shift. and you can add any additional notes. Now we're going to create an open shift that repeats weekly. To create an open shift, simply click the plus icon on the open shift row. We're gonna add the start time, the end time, Select the position, the department, and select weekly from the repeat field. When repeating weekly, you can choose which days shifts are going to be populated. Then select the date when you want the weekly repeat to end. You can choose how many employees are going to be assigned these shifts and you can also automatically assign them. Once you're finished, click the Save button or the Save and Publish button. As you can see, five users were assigned shifts Monday through Friday for several weeks. The Autofill button will automatically assign open shifts based on ranking and availability. 
For example, we have five ranks created in the account. Priority will be given to users with the higher level rank. But again, this is also based on availability. Simply click the autofill button and Zimble will do the rest. The schedule can be viewed in a few different ways. By default, it's viewed by employees. You can also view by departments, as well as view by positions. Alternately, you can change the view to day, week, which is default, and month. Successfully publishing the schedule is also dependent upon any schedule rules which can be assigned individually to each user. To access this page quickly, click on the name of a user on the left side of the schedule page. Then click Schedule Rules. You can remove the user from the schedule page completely by enabling the Exclude from Schedule option, as well as add any schedule rules below. Once you're finished, click the Save button so any changes can take effect. Now that we've added a schedule rule to the user, if we attempt to schedule the user for more than 40 hours, we'll be presented with a warning. We can override this warning by clicking OK. But now that we've gone over 40 hours, you'll see the warning icon in red. Several notification options can be set for each user via their profile page. To access your profile page, click your portrait in the upper right hand corner, then select My Profile. Next, select Notification Preferences. Notifications can be sent to you via email and or SMS if you have the SMS add-on included in your subscription. Notifications can be sent for Schedule, requests, and time off. Make sure to click the Save button so any changes can take effect. This brings the scheduling demo to a close. To register for a free 14-day trial, visit app.zimble.com forward slash register. Visit support.zimble.com for several helpful articles, guides, video tutorials, and more. To contact support directly, send an email to support at zimble.com. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening.